Let's do this. trying to drive an ox down the barrel of a gun. Oh. <laughs> Sleep well? Thank you. Really. Hey, now, brother. you see, Helen, you done enough here harm is a here. silly boy. And Protus Hello, isn't Mr. a boy at all. Hi, but Mr. a chimpanzee Mr. that a man shaves a face into every day. Now you can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh. Come on. Get back, just don't beat off. You really walloped him! My yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit here. me again! Right here! Right here. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. Well, there's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Ears. <laughs> My turn. Oh. Oh. Enough, gentlemen. Oh. Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive. Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? Valentine. Now that is some serious oh, undergrowth up top there, friend. This dump turd okay. town. What are you after? I, mean, I remember when this place was so wild, even the wolves were scared. The only thing to drink was fresh blood. Now, all about churches and shops and all this other bullshit. All right, America. I'd say we're through here. You're toast. Oh, you should see yourself. Hey, Fern! Hello. Hey, they're good looking. <laughs> yeah, boy. Move it! It's just for nothing to see. I wouldn't put you in 
Shoot you. Help, Wouldn't mind some somebody. practice. Well, let's get to it then. And there we go. I swear, this whole place is cursed. Please, someone help! Whoa, easy. Hey, easy, girl. Here you go, girl. Majestic. Mr. Mason? Oh, oh. Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, that's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite, quite. Oh, oh! Ah! Damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Okay then, girl. Good luck, sir. Although, as we both know, I'm the one who needs it. The photographs. What are you gonna do with them? Find somewhere to exhibit them, I guess. I should hope you'll come and view them. Sure will. If, uh... If I can. the hell is wrong with you? Good to see you again, friend. Hey, I've only gone and it. forgotten your name. But worse than that, I've forgotten my own name, too. It happens to me. You ever forget your name, mister? Sure. See? We're made for each other. I mean, as friends. I knew it. There's a big crazy fella with a gun, and I'm a little crazy fella. Can't afford a gun no more. Stick with him, Jimmy, I said. And then I, I said, your name ain't Jimmy, it's Mickey. And then the fella I was talking to in my head, even he didn't want to talk to me no more. I'll see you around. I've gotten real confused. Okay, then. Hold on. Time to wake up now. We're here. Thanks for that, partner. All the best. With Okay, girl. Come on. Good girl. Good morning, 
How there, mister? Hey there! Fine morning, sir. Hey there, partner. Morning. Mister? Good morning to you. Yet. How Madam? are we today? How do you do? You seem full you of joys of spring, One miss. Of the deputies let a fellow hey. out of jail for a... Sir? Hey, folks. Hello. Hi there, mister. Somebody get the floor to stop moving. Ma'am? Monsieur. Bonjour, ma chère. Hey, friend. Hello. Hey. Bien le bonjour. Hello. Hello there. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Sir. Hello, ladies. Bonjour, monsieur. Nasty. Bonjour, oh, monsieur. I got trip. Hey, mister. How do you do? Hello, mister. Bonjour, monsieur. Excuse me, partner. How do you do? Hey, mister. Monsieur? One moment, please. This is hey. extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. May I help you? Well, uh, I don't know. I met you, remember? At that party? Oh, yes. You saved my life. Oh, I am eternally yours, Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not 
Really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need... 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. And how are you today? Bien le bonjour. for the blind? about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, Hello there. We're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. 
Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Wait, Mr. Hello. Morgan. Thank you. What's your goddamn problem? Okay, buddy. Uh, fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Uh, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. A European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betrayal and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté! <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watched them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunter. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. 
This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um... If you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you will forgive my European coarseness. In the Balkans, we are a man of That's fine. Partner? His horse got worms or something. Damn, it's skinny. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Appreciate it. I'd steer clear of the women folk in this town. These either too churchy or liable to get you itchy. <laughs> nice bit of grooming. People take notice. It's nice to give a little special grooming. Hey, been too many animals from the police. Yeah, good girl. We're gonna push back across. All right, girl. Hi there, mister. Hey there. Howdy. Hello. Go on and move. 